Hey, good weekend. This is Try76. Um, BNF left me a video last night, and I hope I replied to it appropriately. Um, what I want to talk about today, because I feel I ran out of time with his video, but what I want to talk about is is the word spirit versus demon, okay? Folks do not know the difference. They really don't know the difference. But there is a huge difference. Okay, and we'll get into the poltergeist and the Ouija board uh, later on. Okay, the word spirit means that they were human at one time and they lived here on earth. That is a human spirit. The Titanic sank. The men said, bless our souls. Okay, there are 2,000 or 200 and some, on, you know, souls on the ship. That is what they meant. We are a soul. We are a spirit. We are human. The word demon means non-entity, okay, non-human entity, and which means that they were never human to begin with, that they were created, um, you know, actually by God, basically, so they are non-human, okay, they, they, they are uh, what they are, and it's, you know, um, they have never lived on earth, okay, they've never been human, so that's the difference between the spirit and the word demon. It is commonplace for people to say, well, I saw a spirit. No, you didn't. You saw a demon. Um, because the soul, when the body dies, okay, I have documentation 100%, believe this or not, that when the body dies at that given moment, the soul goes on. And never to return. Okay? Because it even states in the Bible that we have a place in heaven. Now, we get to the question about suicide, um, and I talked to my minister about this, and he agreed with me 100%. When someone commits suicide, we don't know what's going through their mind, so we don't know if they have asked for forgiveness for what they're doing, you know, so we don't know. My question to my minister was, will Jesus forgive this person if they, you know, ask for forgiveness at that moment that they're going to commit suicide and he said most certainly so that answered my question there um so uh, you know and my husband's father committed suicide when my husband was only seven my mother-in-law has been plagued for 60 some years because she's now 94 with the question whether or not where he's at because of what the bible says but we do not know what went through his mind when he hung himself so but I do have documentation that as soon as the body dies, the spirit moves on. Okay, it goes to heaven. Now, demonic. They are a, a uh, non-human entity. And they have never been human. And they never will be. Um, I've heard about the Ouija board being a lower astral plane uh, spirit that comes with the board. There is no lower astral plane spirit. It is a low astral plane ghost or demon. The board comes with a spirit, with a demon. Excuse me. See, it, it's common. Um, it comes with its own demon. There are fortune telling demons. They're in their own categories, the same as the poltergeist and the, and the tempters and so forth like that. And they tell you your fortune, and that's what the board does. So don't be misled that it comes with a lower astral plane spirit. It does not. It comes with a lower astral plane demon. So that is the difference between the categories of the spirit and the word demon. And as for the poltergeist thing, um, that I feel goes hand in hand with the paranormal too, and and people misconcepting it as being a spirit. And in German, it means noisy ghost, but it cannot be care it, it be put into a category simply because of the simple fact nobody really knows what they are. Okay, they're just, you know. But I truly believe that they're demons, and I truly believe that they are created by the human being. And that's what a poltergeist is to me. Um, but I wanted to, you know, I, I felt that I ran out of time in the video yesterday, so I felt that I would, I would try and, 
and uh, get that clarified up, you know, on the difference between what a, a, what the word spirit means and what the word ghost means and what the word poltergeist means. And any even cards come with a non-human entity, which is called a demon. And um, anything that tells the fortune is a demon. Okay? I've yet to run into a good spirit because they don't exist, folks. Because why would God want a soul to be mean to people on earth? Think about it. Why would he want that? No, because that is his creation. We are in the image of him. So, the only thing that's left is demonic. Okay? And you know as well as I do from biblical uh, research that, you know, even what it says in the Bible, that the demon runs the earth. So, there you go. And I hope this, this helps clarify some things up. I don't know if I made a video about this or not because I have so many of them. But, um, it clarifies that up. But always keep in mind that, you know, there is a difference there. And when I go out on, a, on an investigation, I don't always think that things are, are demonic. No. Because of the simple fact, I walk in and, and the first thing I do is, is I ask questions to rule out whether or not if it's psychokinesis or if it's brought on by poltergeist, which can be created by the human being. And if I find in my investigation and my research that there is possible uh, demonic activity, then I rule it as that. So that's how, you know, that that is how it is. And so when you keep in mind, whenever you refer to a spirit, refer to it as a human entity that has lived on earth the same as what we are. And a ghost is a non-human entity which is called the demon. And the poltergeist is actually something that can be created by a human being which means that it's really not real. Okay? It's only real in the sense that, that you actually see it banging stuff around and making a lot of noises. And it's created by the human being itself. And either that or it draws in the demon. Because poltergeist, nobody really knows what they are. But I've yet to catch one on film, you can't. That, that is why. Because it's being created by the human being. So, alright. This is Try 76 signing off. And I hope you have a great weekend.